What's going on guys? This is Nathan the Scrub Academy coming to you to our next tech profile here on the channel. Today we're here with the first place of the Des Moines Regional with John and he's got his snake eye deck profile, his pure snake eye deck profile. We're gonna jump right on into it. Well, starting off with the snake eye package, pretty standard ratios. Triple snake eye ash, double poplar, one oak, two copies of flame bridge, and the one uh, jet synchron for the synchro build. Then for the other starters, I'm playing the, the Bell Star package, three witch, we wanted one original. Just the one original? Yeah, the second one just doesn't really come up. Anytime you draw, you'd rather it be like another non-engine or one of the better starters. Um, then one copy of Temple helps you dodge nib and extend. And then the last of the starters are triple bonfire, one one for one. And the rest of the deck is all non-engine. You said not all non-engine? Yes. All right. Yeah. So it's triple cross out, one talents. Card's really good, but it's also there as a cross out target. And then for the hand traps, I was playing triple Valor, triple Ash Blossom, triple Mourner, double Ogre, double Debiro, and triple Imperm. I wanted to try and maximize the chances of drawing two or uh, three copies. Do you ever have an issue where you were breaking on all the hand traps or did um, it work out all right for you? It did happen a few games where I had like just no way to actually play and I just had hand traps, but there aren't really any other starters you can put in the deck to fix that. What were, the, what were the MVPs of the deck for you today? Um, Definitely the crossouts. The card came up so much. The ogres were pretty solid too. I feel like the crossouts were great just because every time somebody tried to stop you from doing anything, you could just hit it and keep going. Yeah, like if if you get to resolve your combo, you you just you just win. All right, and that was the entire main deck. Yes. All right, Forty-one cards. Forty-one in that main. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the extra deck. So I was on here. Four link fours, one Appaloosa. One Zulantis, one Raging Phoenix, one Axis Code. The Selene helps more all Axis Code and Opelousa lines. The one Princess, one Nightmare Phoenix. Double Charmer, SP and IP. The one uh, Relinquished Anima. And then my Synchros of choice were the Omega Dispater package. Were there any changes you would make in this? Um, or was it pretty much solid the entire day? Yeah, if, if I stick to the Dispater package, I think I'm going to keep the extra deck exactly as is. The only thing I'm considering is maybe trying out the number 38 combo, which just has to play number 38 and then you get two more flex spots in your extra deck. But it does play Snake Eye Dia Bellstar, which I'm not playing. Is there a reason why you're not playing that? Um, mostly a lack of testing, and I didn't like how, uh, how much it, those combos play into Nib. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at that side deck real quick. Because you know everybody loves the inside decks. <laughs> so, I was citing a few more hand traps. Chose Double Droll, the third Nib, the third Ogre. I was playing, uh, this card's name, Fuko. It was mostly there as a way to counter 10 by when they make me go first. I ended up not facing any all day. But it can also come up against like any of the shifter decks. It lets you wait out the shifter and they can't OTK you. The only way Tempai actually outs it is if they are playing Santa Claus or some other Kaiju. What does that card do for people who don't know? Uh, it takes two level ones to make. It's unaffected by all card effects and during other player's turn, you can detach two materials from it. It can't be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage involving it for that turn. Okay. So it's just a way to make sure that they can't OTK you and you get to your next turn. If you live against Tempai, you're probably winning the game. And for the rest of the side, I was on three Twin Twisters, one Cosmic Cyclone, one Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, one Sinful Spoils of Subversion. Searchable off of both uh, Witch and Poplar, so it's good spot removal. It's really good into things like Opelousa. Especially when you can't destroy it, because you're using like the IP into it. Yeah, and it's it comes up into like Yubel matchups. You can put their Yubel monster back and then... So why the only, why the uh, one Cosmic? Um, 
It's mostly just to have uh, five backer removal to just raise the odds of seeing them. And it's also a cross out target for when I'm siding in the, the rest of the cards on my side, okay. which are triple skill drain and one anti-spell. So you just don't want people to play, is what you're saying? Pretty much. <laughs> Snake eyes don't play deck, is what I'm gonna call this. Summon limit and, uh, yeah, summon limit's gone, empty spells at one, so had to find the the next best cards. And how do you play around that skill drain if you're using it on your, like, if you have it out? So you would usually use your other interruption first and, and then uh, flip the skill drain, and then on your turn you can just send it away with Ash or Oak, and then since it's, they're off the field, you can, you would fully resolve their effects. Okay. Same thing goes for uh, anti spell, but it's a little harder if you have like bonfire or wanted. It won't do it, so it has to be like exactly which or one of the uh, either ash or oak. Okay. Any changes in the side deck? Um, maybe putting like one or two more talents in the side was something I was considering. But uh, overall, all the cards perform pretty well. Alrighty. Any shoutouts? Uh. Yeah, shout out to my team, Prestige Gaming. Shout out to uh, my buddies that help me play test, Tim, Eric, Will. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, John, for bringing us your thank pure you. Snake Eyes deck. Well, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, and make sure to check out the playlist up in the cards. I'll have the entire playlist for all live duels and deck profiles from at the Des Moines Regional. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell on the way out the door, because all our sports are greatly appreciated. Well, until next time, this is Nick the Script Academy, signing up for now. Peace out.